Hi everyone and welcome to another um, video explanation and update from me, Gary, at Stark's Warehouse. Um, this video will be about the mother mould process. Uh, but before we get into that, there's one thing that I have just remembered about before we get into that, which are registration keys. I just made these up here. These um, basically are lumps of silicone that stick onto the outside of the silicone mould so that when your mother mould goes on top of it the registration keys stick out of the silicone mould and um, the plaster mother mould can fit easily into it by the core keys so obviously the plaster will go around that to make a socket and that key will go into the socket just so everything lines up when you're ready for casting um, so all I've got here are some cheap disposable shot glasses from local pound store um, so basically all I've done is mixed a little bit of silicon up well, mixed quite a bit of silicon up poured a little bit into the bottom of each glass just let it to set and then obviously once they're set uh, yeah, end up with these, which are like little lumps of silicone, and then I'm going to add some more silicone, mix some more silicone up to add to the bottom of that, and then stick it just straight to the outside of the silicone mold. That way, when I put the plaster mold on top, it will have um, the keys, registration keys, to lock into the plaster mold, and it'll just make sure it do doesn't move or uh, anything during the casting process. So I'll just mix some more silicone up, get them stuck on and show you what the mould looks like with them on. Okay, so here's the uh, helmet silicone mould with the registration keys in place. You have to remember, as I soon remembered once I started putting the keys on, that you have to fi figure out before you make the mother mould which way it's going to come off. So obviously if it's going to split straight down the middle here, it's going to pull off sideways. And obviously if you've got high registration keys like these ones here, it's not going to want to pull because it's going to be pulling it sideways that way. So obviously it's going to be difficult to get off. Um, so for now I've just built a little bit of thick silicone up, just some little balls of thick silicone, just to add some little registration keys to the top um, and back just to make it a little bit easier than using the big registration keys that I made up for it so they're all the way around now, they're not fully set yet so I'm just going to leave them to dry and then I can start making the mother mould okay so I've just set up the clay dividing wall um, easiest way I found to do this was to take a lump of clay um, roll it out like you roll in dough roll it into a long sausage shape uh, find the length that you need roll it out as long as so it does so it fits all the way around um, once you found it just squish it on the floor with your hand flatten it off a little bit so you have like a mohawk position it all the way around uh, one thing that I found when I was when I first started doing this is I wanted to get as close as possible to the silicone so that nothing got through there and um, it didn't seep or leak. But you don't need that as long as all it is is a, just a just a guide, so per se, just to help the first layer of plaster bandage go at that kind of angle. So it doesn't need to be perfectly squished all the way up because um, the clay will, won't won't stick to the silicone so as long as it's rested on there I just like to tuck it underneath the, oops you can see tuck it underneath there and obviously the same at the back just tucks it under as you can see there's gaps all over so it's not perfect so it's just like a guide for it and also for the um, keys in the clay wall. Basically I just took a lollipop stick and just dug holes out there 
just like circular style. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but the camera just cut off. Um, <laughs> yeah, just tape the clay wall, just dig like circular holes out there all the way around, just for the registration keys in the clay. And the clay that I used from the holes, I just rolled into balls, put onto the back of the clay, just to use as little wedges. Just because if not, you'll find that the clay wall will start leaning back at an angle. You want it straight as you can get it. Um, obviously, you'll find obviously it doesn't stick to the silicone, so you just want to. That's why I wrap it underneath and try and stick it to the foam inside. Um, so I think that's about everything for now. So I'll go ahead and get um, some of the plaster bandage on there and we shall go from there. Okay, so I got a little bit carried away with myself and ended up um, fully completing one side of the mould and starting the other side. Um, basically what I did was give it one layer of plaster bandage, um, a layer of fiberglass mixed in with Hercolite 2 plaster to give it a little bit extra strength. Um, all the leftover plaster that was thickening up, becoming a cream like a paste, I pasted that on all over just to add the thickness to it to add strength and then I gave it a final layer of plaster bandage again. Uh, the first side over here, this is one layer of plaster bandage as you can still see um, all the keys and everything, so that's one layer of plaster bandage and I'll show you how I went on with my plaster bandage. I cut it into square strips, well square rectangular strips, probably that, that kind of size. Basically what it is is dip it just into the water, don't soak it, don't, I didn't com completely submerge it in the water, just dip it on top of the water so that it gets moist. Fold it in half, that way you can keep hold of it better I find. And basically just scrunch it together and rub it together like that which froths it up and makes it really creamy. Um, now don't squeegee all the excess water out because that will get rid of all the plaster um, So obviously it won't be as strong. So scrunch it all up um, Give it a nice creamy paste and then just layer it on Like so um, I'll sh quickly put some gloves on and then just show you how I do that in real time It's a messy job. <laughs> right, so I've got a little tub of water down here. So basically just, as you can see, dip it on top of the water, fold it in half, keep hold of the edges, that way it'll be a lot easier to find, and then just scrunch it all together. As you can see, it's starting to form a nice thick paste straight away. Open it up, and you've still got the edges, so that'll help you. Um, let's move the camera. Like I say, don't squeegee it out. And once it's there, all you need to do is literally place it where you want it. And because it's nice and creamy on the plaster, what you just made it'll spread out evenly and just spread it out so it's nice and smooth and that's basically it obviously complete the whole layer um, I completed the whole layer like I said mixed some plaster up um, dipped the fiberglass matting into the plaster and then just placed plast plastered that on to the mold itself then after that scraped all the excess plaster that was starting to dry because that time it comes really like paste like a really thick paste so you can easily pick it up and put it on without fear of it running and dripping so you can easily plaster, plaster the paste on like that so just to give it a bit of thickness as you can see the difference in thickness from there to there straight away so I'll just plaster that on to give it some thickness and then after that, I went over it with another final layer of plaster bandage. And I think that should be enough, really. Um, 
but it looks pretty thick so we'll soon find out anyway but I'm going to leave it just as that for now so I'll get the rest of this done like I say with um, plaster and fiberglass uh, the thick thickened plaster and then one final layer of plaster bandage and then once all that's on and set and dry we can remove the mold the mother mold and remove the silicone mold and it'll be ready for start casting then um, I think that's about everything so thank you very much for watching this video on making the mother mold um, I'm not sure how long it'll be before I get the next video up but if you subscribe you'll see it as soon as I get it up <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon